in the previous video we had seen what is a demultiplexer and the general form of a demultiplexer in this video let us look at block diagram truth table and logic diagram of a 1 to 4 demultiplexer similar to a multiplexer in order to arrive at the block diagram of a demultiplexer we need to compare the given demultiplexer with its general form by comparing it with the general form we will get the number of input output and select line so the general form of a demultiplexer is input is to output and number of inputs is 1 number of outputs is 2 power n where n is the number of select line so we are given 1 is to 4 so this can be written as 1 is to 2 power 2 so which will give us n is equal to So the number of input will be 1, number of output will be 4 and number of select lines will be 2. So by using this information we can draw the block diagram of demultiplexer so this is the block diagram of a 1 to 4 demultiplexer so you can see that you have one input data line d in two select line s1 s0 and four output lines y0 y1 y2 y3 and one active high enable input so this enable input determines if the dmux is enabled or disabled so if the enable input is 1 the dmux is enabled and when the enable input is 0 the dmux will be disabled let us now look at the truth table of 1 to 4 demultiplexer the truth table and the working of a 1 to 4 demultiplexer can be understood by looking at the block diagram of 1 to 4 demultiplexer. So this was the block diagram of 1 to 4 demultiplexer. From the definition of demultiplexer, we know that the input data line is connected to a particular output data line depending on the combination of select line. Here you have two select line. So you will be having four combinations that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so when the input combination s1 s0 is 0 0 then the d in line gets connected to y0 similarly when s1 s0 is 0 1 d in line gets connected to y1 when s1 s0 is 1 0 D in line gets connected to Y2 and when S1 S0 is 1 1 D in line gets connected to Y3 all this would be true only if the enable signal is 1 if it is 0 then irrespective of the combination of S1 S0 all the four outputs will be 0 because the demultiplexer will be disabled so this is represented in the form of a truth table the inputs to the demultiplexer will be enable and s1 s0 whereas there will be four outputs y0 y1 y2 y3 if the enable is 0 the demultiplexer is disabled So irrespective of the combination of the select line, the output would be 0. These four cases indicate 
when the demultiplexer is enabled. Since it is an active high enable input, E must be 1. And when the combination of select line S1, S0 is 0, 0, then the D in data line gets connected to Y0. Hence, Y0 becomes D in and the other three will be 0. Similarly, when it is 0, 1, D in gets connected to Y1. So, Y1 will be D in and the others will be 0. For 1, 0, D in gets connected to Y2. So, Y2 will be D in and others will be 0. When the select line is 1, 1, D in gets connected to Y3. So, Y3 is D in and others will be 0. So, this is the truth table of 1 to 4 demultiplexer. To draw the logic diagram of 1 to 4 demultiplexer, we have to derive the output expression for Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3. We can do that from the truth table. So, Y0 will be D in depending on the input combinations of E, S1 and S0. For Y0 to be D in, E, S1, S0 must be 1, 0, 0. So, which means E, S1 bar, S0 bar. So, this is similar to what we had done in multiplexer. That is, if you have 1, then you write the variable. And if you have 0, you write the complement of that variable. So, similarly, for Y1, it will be D in E S1 bar S0. For Y2, it will be D in E S1 S0 bar. And for Y3, it will be D in E S1 S0. So, you have four output expressions. So, if you draw the logic diagram using basic gates, it will give you the logic diagram of 1 to 4 demultiplexer. So, we have already done the logic diagram of 1 to 4 demultiplexer here. You can see that you have two select lines S1, S0, four outputs Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, one enable input and one data input line D in. So, this D in is connected to all the four AND gates and also the enable is connected to all the four AND gates. The output of this NOT gate will be S1 bar and the output of this NOT gate will be S0 bar. So, the output of first AND gate will be D in S0 bar, S1 bar and E. So, this can be written as D in E, S1 bar, S0 bar. Similarly, the output of second AND gate will be D in S0, S1 bar and E. So, this will be D in E, S1 bar, S0. The output of third AND gate will be D in S0 bar S1 E. So, which can be written as D in E S1 S0 bar. Similarly, the output of fourth AND gate will be D in S0 S1 and E. So, which can be written as D in E S1 S0. So, this is the same as what we got from the truth table. We'll look at 1 to 8 demultiplexer in the next video. Thank you.